let's just get greasy. Let's get it. Let's go. What is up, YouTube? Welcome back to a quick video. I'm just gonna share with you guys a little experience I got with some cheap parts that I should have done better, but I thought I would have got by, and it did just that. It helped me get by, but it is no way um, for you to depend on in a, for in a long run as far as your turbo build. So, first thing that I failed in was the gate. Here's the gate. Bro, I don't think that's supposed to be uh, doing that. <laughs> right? <laughs> the gate was a little cheap eBay gate you could get for like 30 bucks or whatever. It came with a kit, so I wasn't tripping as I do have a cheap kit. However, it is a rare kit, but it is still cheap. I got it from DNA Motoring uh, when they used to make them before they changed their name to Speed Daddy or whatever. And yeah, so it's a hybrid T3, T4, 64 millimeter turbo. Um, there it is, right there. It's pretty big. It, it works pretty good. The turbo, I cannot lie, it works pretty good. However, the components around that, like this here, wastegate was junk. So what happened was it held up um, for the six pounds, put 12 pounds on it, and it just, it's rattling. Yeah, shouldn't do that. So it just kept rattling and spinning and all that type of stuff. So this is not a good gate. It's not a reliable gate. I want to say that the housing of the gate, though, is pretty tough and stuff. So I kept it to see if there is a way at some point when I have some time. I try to see if I can reinforce it. Uh, but as far as the makeup of the gate, I'd say it's pretty sturdy, the material. However, it's really strong and sturdy. However, the internals of the gate, I'd say it's pretty whack and crappy. That's why it's wiggling and spinning. It shouldn't do that. And I got a tile. So I guess this is a real tile. It's a 38 millimeter. You know what I mean? So we got this gate here, right here. Yeah, so what I did was had a series of springs so i had this spring in there and i think this was a six pound spring if i'm not mistaken i think this was a six pound spring i'm not either way don't even give a fuck so just took out the spring and right now hold on let me uh take this apart right here um this one's a 12 pound spring and i believe this one's a 10 pound spring in the middle so right here we got 21 pounds that I'm about to attempt to run on this. So I'm gonna see how it goes. Hopefully I'll fucking blow up. I think I won't blow up, I think I'm good. Fully built, so we'll see and try to smack that 20 pounds on it and back to Dino, see what it does. So I'm gonna put it all back together and then see what it does at Dino. So we're out here about to get the 22 pound dyno session in pretty early in the morning. So we're all set up to go. Um, I'm going to see, I'm going to see if we can uh, hold up on 22 pounds. So we're all set up, ready to start, uh, ready to start the session. So just going to get some, some air on it and then get the moving. So. Let's do it.
36 on the dyno, which is some goddamn jam, and about 300 foot pounds of torque. So, I'm satisfied with that. Until next time. This one does the job, however, uh, it blew a hole into my cheap stainless steel T3, T4 manifold that you can get off. So for me, for like 90 bucks or 100 bucks. So point is, don't cheap out, guys. Here's what happened. It is completely shattered, driving down the street, and I just had no boost, and I could hear the pops and crackles. I'm like, what the hell? So that's what happened. So uh learn from my mistakes guys do not cheap out on the turbo manifold and do not cheap out on the wastegate do yourself the favor spend the extra cheese it will be worth it all in the long run trust me because i'm i'm feeling it right now so instead of uh, spending one two bills because you can find them cheap for like 188 you can find some cast iron ones a little bit more for like 500 but i went with a cheap one uh schedule 40 uh steel um yeah so i'll see how that works i'll hit you guys with an update as soon as i get it so yeah that's that boost is real <laughs> right <laughs> Oh yeah.